He out jumps senior. Howard. Now we just see a bursting run instead. He opts for the quick pass and finds Harvey well. Harvey, can he get across? And he's a low one. Oh, and it's put just wide by Berry. In fact, it took a deflection because that's a corner and a great move and a great ball in from Harvey. And just for one moment, it looked like Berry had done enough. Nevertheless, Orient have the corner then. Played by Baker here for Terry Howard. Long throw looking towards Cooper's head. Harvey with a traumatic shot that hits the post. Tremendous effort from there from Harvey with the outside of his boot and had Francis at full stretch and the gods are on Francis' side there as they came back off the post. Baker. Asking a lot of Hoddle. Hoddle charging through well here and finds Steve Castle. In turn, Barry. But Jones in close attendance, but Barry does get a cross in. Cooper does get a flick. Castle charges through. Gets a shot in and it's gone in. Certainly took a deflection off of Taylor, but Castle will take the credit for that. 20 minutes gone. And Orion had the lead then. Free kick taken quickly. And it's a header from Hoddle. And a lovely goal indeed. Two in two minutes for Leighton Orion. And Hoddle's first goal. Straight pass, Francis into the far corner there, and a delightful header, header there from Carl Hoddle for looking corner. Very now with a chance to switch it down to the other end with Baker. First time ball on now for Howard. Can he get in there, Howard? Oh, marvelously tipped around there by Francis. Hauled away. And the bounce eludes Berry, and that'll be a throw to Redding. Acrobatic step from Castle. Jones under pressure from Harvey. Does well, but only finds Berry. We get a first time cross in. Oh, and Cooper turns. Oh, marvelous save. Absolutely marvelous save there from Francis. How did he keep that out? The pressure still on, however. First time cross comes in. Castle's header this time harmless enough to go into Francis' arms and two sensational saves in 60 seconds. They in the way of that one. Berry again. Now turns Jones and has some space. Tries to go alone. Oh, and doing well! And a shot that goes into the arms of Francis again. And some good attacking play here from Leighton Norrie. Beasley again. That's a good-looking ball to find Berry in some space as he gets into this reading box, Berry. Oh, and it's gone in! Francis got a hand to it, but Berry strikes. 36 minutes gone. And Orion, three goals to the good. Greg Berry there in your picture. First goal for Leighton Orion for him. Clearance this time. Looks towards Cooper. He does get a touch. Falls to Harvey. Room to turn for Harvey there. Gets a all good looking cross in and just to lose the head of Ferry. Flung himself bravely across the box there to get to that one. Michael Jilks on the edge of the Orient box. Took a deflection off of Howard and that'll be a reading throw. Mr. Pauly having a second look at his watch. Just a one-wheel stoppage when Martin Hicks went down. Boy, still bobbling around. It could go anywhere, and indeed, Redding find a way back into this game. Fine shot on the turn there. In the last few seconds of this first half, David Leeworthy turn and shot straight into the Orient net.
Derby. Howard again, first time, deep cross in. Oh, and it, where's it gone next? Off the line there from Cooper's header. Cooper appeals for the goal, but Jones, the Reading hero there, has got in somehow and pulled that one off of the line. The end of Steve Richardson for a rather stupid incident. And of course, Orion now have the penalty to make it 4-1. Seventy-five minutes gone when Richardson left the field. And now Steve Francis, who made a string of fine saves against Steve Castle to take this penalty. Is Francis going to keep Reading's hopes alive in this game, or is Castle going to put this game surely beyond Reading now? So unnecessary this for Reading. Castle scores. But no, it's encroachment there it's going to have to be retaken there was encroachment by both sets of players into the box Frank Clark out of his dugout in disbelief Castle again and this time he puts it over the bar Clark having words with the linesman here. Castle may well have been wiser to just stop a moment and compose himself again. And instead, Redding switches to the other end with a high lock. Oh, where's he fallen next? But a whistle's gone there for a foul by Tate on Castle as he came through. And now danger again for this Redding defence. Castle calls that one in, pulled away again by Francis to continue with his fine string of saves in this match. Match talk comes from the rating manager. He'll be one excluded from the roasting, I'm sure. Harvey gets across in. This time Francis flicks it, Cooper rounds it off with a header there, and that is 4-1. The end of this game as Reading scored in the 45th minute. We've had about a minute of injury time on 90th minute goal there for Cooper. And there was nothing Francis could do. And a long shot this time.